Hey guys, it's Anrice. Today I'm going to show you and talk about synthetic tattooable arms from Pound of Flesh and I'll explain a little bit more about them and show you a little bit demo how to get tattooed them and how to put stencil on and basically how to do everything. So, here it is. I have one hand from them and one full arm forearm with hand as well. I already tattooed this one around three years ago I think when I would when I just started doing this kind of style so this was for the practice and this one I'm doing right now for National Maritime Museum at Cornwall and they have exhibition titled the two are not just for sailors and it's gonna be up next year I believe. Things and Ink doing this exhibition so probably there will be more information in their website and probably I'll share some more information later on on my Instagram and Facebook stay tuned if you are interested in that but right now I'm just gonna show you a little bit more about this and tell you what it is and how it's compared to real skin most of this I already done uh, I have a little spot here left for you guys to show you a little bit more demo unfortunately I couldn't film a lot more about it how I do it or some time lapses because I was really running out of time to do this and deadline is really soon so yeah, I did film how I put stencil on and I'll tell you a little bit more about it now so you can kind of get an idea and here it is So to put stencil on first you need to do is get stencil ready and mark the area with sharpies where you want to put it on Then clean the surface with some alcohol Make sure everything is clean and no grease on it or anything I'm using stencil stuff, but you can use really any other stencil solution to put it on. You will need to use only a little bit on because this is synthetic skin and it doesn't really soak in, so be careful with that. Also you need to be really careful when you're putting the stencil on because it doesn't stick to the skin. It might slide off and you need to be really careful and just trying to hold it carefully and push it everywhere where you need it. Take it off. As you can see, stencil is not really sharp and crisp, but it will stay on really, really good. You'll just need to let it dry for 24 hours. So this is now after 24 hours around, and the stencil is really there, it's really permanent. It's not gonna go anywhere, you know? And actually, sometimes when you finish your tattoo on this, stencil is still on. And the only way to remove it is with bleach. To do that, you just soak some tissue in bleach, wrap it around the pound of flesh and just leave it on for maybe half an hour or hour or two hours or whatever you, you can see how it will be so actually the bleach will not fade any tattoo it will still be there it's just gonna remove the stencil off what's really cool about it so you can do it after you're done tattoo you can bleach it all out if there's still some stencil on so that's about it let's do some lines and I'll tell you a little bit more about it so when you do lining on this, it's actually a little bit bouncy because it's silicone arm, I think. It's like a rubber, so kind of a little bit bounces your needle and also it can cut it a little bit, the material. It's nothing to really worry about and the result will be great anyway. So compared to real skin, it's really a lot more harder than the real skin and you need to tune your machines a little bit stronger and you need to go a lot slower to get nice and crisp lines and even then to me it's like a little bit hard to get good lines and it takes forever to line this smaller lines on this goes a lot more easier and quicker as well I think these things from Pound of Flesh is really uh, the best what you can get the closest one to the real skin actually when you tattoo it it looks like it almost will look in real life perfect to kinda try some new things out if you are apprentice as well, I think this is really good thing to practice on really like bananas or oranges skins or like that smelly pig skin is not really the best for practicing tattooing I think this stuff is really really cool Also Pound the Flesh, they do different things They don't do only arms, they do also feet and planks of flesh what's really would be ideal for beginner tattooer because when you're like tattooing over here it's like a lot of bands and everything and veins and all that stuff because it's like casted from real arms so you get all the textures and everything so if you're a beginner it could be a lot harder for you to do all that definitely plank of flesh will be awesome for that I think there's a few different things you can get from them so you should just go and check it out yourself I'll put links on below 
So compared to real skin, when you tattoo something like this, it's a lot harder to the real skin. If say you are apprentice and you never tattoo the real skin and you're practicing only on these all the time, I think once you will start on real skin, it will be a big difference to you. Try a few smaller tattoos as well on real skin. You might find that it's completely different and you might need to learn a few things again. I think tattooing on real skin is actually a lot harder than this one. This doesn't bleed or anything. The softer shades goes soft straight away. You don't need to wait till it's healed. You, you don't need to think about that. Also, the customer doesn't move or anything. You know, it's pretty stable. I would say it's almost like a drawing with the two machines. Like really cool and fun to do. I would definitely recommend this one to try to anyone who is interested. I definitely think this is the best thing out, out in market for like practicing some tattooing because all those other fake skins they're really not the same feel to the real skin but this is actually really really similar and the end result is really similar to how it would actually look on the real skin also i think this this stuff is really amazing not only for beginners but also for tattooers who are ready to doing few years maybe and who want to try some different styles or, or different techniques or even experiment a little bit more with different needle setups or something this would be really awesome to do. It will allow you to do anything you want. And maybe if you're practicing, if you're trying out different styles or something, then maybe you can later on when you finish the work, you can display it in front of the studio so customers can see it. And you can put maybe folder next to it or a few sketches for your other projects, what you are thinking. So customers can see really good look. What are you actually thinking with that tattoo? and possibly they will give you a little bit more freedom when next time when they book in. Because this is like showcasing 3D tattoos already, you know, and it's not like just some photos or just some sketches or something. Most of the customers are afraid to let you just randomly tattoo them with some different weird ideas. But if you already have something to show them, they might give you a little bit more freedom. So keep that in mind. I haven't tried to do any color work on Pound of Flesh. There's many, many works online, most of them are color work, so I think this will be awesome for practicing color blends as well and some fully colored new school tattoos and stuff like that. And make sure to check out on their website and also on their Instagram, I'll add the links below. Make sure to check out the work from other artists, you might be surprised what you can do with this. And possibly you'll get some more ideas as well, what you can do with yours. So here it is, finished it off now. You can still do fingers and stuff of course, but I'm not gonna do it this time. I like how it ends like this. That's what we have inside. Right, so after you finish, you just wash it all with like warm water, a lot of soap and stuff. Nothing will affect your tattoo anymore because it's there and it stays really good, like, like on a real skin, I would say. And that's about it. This is really awesome stuff for 3D portfolio or you can get it for conventions. You can put it in your desk, you know, and people can check it out, what you can do and stuff. It's really cool. Also, it's really great stuff if you're tattooing a few years already and you want to try maybe different styles or some different projects you are thinking, then it's really great to do them on, on this so you can see yourself how it looks and also your customers can, can get a better view of what you have in your mind. For apprentices, this will be awesome to, to do some line work. If you're just learning how to tattoo, I wouldn't really go crazy on this. I would just do some traditional designs, some practice, some line work, some solid blacks. It's a little bit harder to get solid black on this one. If you do exactly the same what you do on this, you go straight away to the skin. You, you need to be really careful because you can overwork it or you can damage it or something. So yeah, I will add a lot more info down below. Their website where you can get them and stuff. Here in Europe, you can get them from Killer Inc. and probably some other websites. And in, a, in States, I think you can get them straight from these. And also you can check on their website other products what they do. Like I mentioned before, for beginners, I would suggest Plank of Flesh because that surface will be nice and clean and smooth. So it will be easier for you to do some work than this one. Definitely highly recommend something like this. Get one of those. It's 2016 already. You don't need to practice on some weird stuff. You can practice on this or you can showcase your portfolio on this. It's awesome stuff. 
thank you guys for watching let me know in comment section below if you have any questions or anything i'll try to answer all of them i hope this video was helpful and i hope i explained really good about this synthetic tattoo wool skin from powder flash so check that out guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time